Hello to all and welcome on the Watches TV and we have a new episode in our unboxing series or should I say it's again my birthday today, how fantastic and we will unbox a watch that was introduced very recently during the last Basel World. It's not a new watch in itself but a variation of the UR111C or the triple one or the 111 however you want to call it. I personally like to say the 111 and C stands for Cobra. As Eurek had originally presented the CC1 Cobra already a few years back with this very original linear way of displaying time. This was kind of an experimental timepiece, only a few models had been produced but Eurek has now launched this new 111 in the fall of last year. This particular model uh, we are about to uncover is therefore the third version and is called the 111 Black Cobra. Sounds almost scary, right? So off we go for some unwrapping. Always a nice feeling. So first you have this uh, kind of black wooden uh, lacquered uh, box that I will put uh, on the side for the time being and underneath it uh, this is where you will find uh, the papers related to this watch meaning like uh, you have the operating manual of course and the original certificate that goes uh, with the timepiece. So to open the box uh, uh, you have to actually slide it like this uh, on the side and this lets you see obviously the watch standing nicely on this uh, nice little leather cushion. So let's take it out and uh, as you can see obviously it is quite different. Uh, uh, there is a little sci-fi dimension to it like an industrial spaceship feel. It looks cool and I have to say that uh, it's pretty compact. Uh, it's not huge, it's very wearable. Uh, it's uh, 42 millimeter in width, uh, 46 in uh, height and 1.5 uh, centimeter, 15 millimeter in uh, height. So uh, as you can see and uh, you can already assume that it's pretty comfortable to wear because it has this curved shape that uh, must probably sit very nicely on the wrist but I will check this a little bit later. As mentioned this is the third version of this watch uh, which is now coming in a black PVD uh, mate finish. Uh, the first two models uh, were in steel cases uh, too but uh, with different uh, steel finishes and were called the iron and the gunmetal uh, version. So let's describe in detail what we have here with this uh, black cobra. So on the, the left side uh, of the case or the left cone if you prefer you have a jumping hour indicator with the hour being alternative, uh, alternatively seen on the right or on the left part of the cone which enables to display a larger number for better legibility. So on the right side uh, you have a running uh, minute uh, displayed and in the middle part that's where you have this super interesting uh, retrograde minute linear display that I will demonstrate. But before doing so and I don't know if you've noticed but there is actually no crown on this uh, watch. And this is precisely one of the coolest features of this UR111. Uh, As you can see uh, on top of the case there is this uh, long cylinder shape going almost through the entire uh, case and this is actually the crown. So despite uh, being an automatic watch with approximately 50 hours of power reserve well you can still wind uh, your watch with this feature just like with any regular crown. But now comes the magic. So by pulling this uh, little lever here on the right side of the case this unlocks the time setting mechanism and by going back and forth with the upper uh, cylinder you can see that you can set the time really easily in both directions. And this now lets me uh, come back on this uh, linear display found in the middle because behind the displayed red colored minute scale you have another cylinder onto which you have this uh, helix shape uh, painted on it in green and by turning on itself it will mark the actual minute. And like by magic once you reach the 60 minute mark it automatically goes back to zero. It works like a retrograde but this is more an optical illusion than an actual mechanical, mechanical retrograde system. A very smart and cool illusion as the cylinder naturally turns on itself continuously. And here you can also see how the hour jumps and when you are setting it you can really go in one direction or the other. This is really not an issue. Okay another neat feat of this watch is the seconds uh, display found on top. Uh, of the case. In fact you have like two discs, uh, one with the 10s, 10, 20, 30 and the other one with the 5s increments, 0, 05, 15, 25, well you get it. And you will therefore have the second indication displayed by one disc and alternatively by the uh, next one. And though they are located a bit deeper in the case, just above the movement uh, in fact, well you can still read this uh, second information very easily as Orec used some kind of 
fiber optic material which acts like a prism uh, and really makes this second stand out nicely. And by the way, uh, you have a stop second feature, meaning that when you are setting it, when you pull the lever, the second stops and you can therefore try to set it as precisely as possible. You choose the second that suits you, coordinate with an outside precise uh, time reference and as soon as you put the lever back into its closed position, well, the second starts running again. Okay, I will finish by actually wearing this cool machine and I must say that it feels rather nice here on the wrist. I mean, it's uh, very decently uh, sized and even though I have rather uh, small wrists. So I feel like my spaceship is probably just waiting outside the Watchers Club here in Geneva. So before heading direction Pluto, just wanted to add that uh, this uh, UR111C Black Cobra is limited to 25 pieces with this uh, fabric uh, strap. And if you want to feel different, well, this is definitely a way to do it. So all the very best to you. Thanks for watching. See you soon with more crazy timepieces and Viva Watchmaking! Yeah.